Hey, what's up guys? John here. Used car prices are crashing like a cryptocurrency meme stock. On average, prices are now dropping. Used car prices are down on average 3.6%. And millions of Americans are looking for ways in which they can escape this auto loan crisis that they're in. More Americans are reportedly falling behind on their car loan payments. People 60 days behind or more on their car loans has now risen by more than 26% compared to last year. You have to go back to 2010 to find numbers like that. When you look at what's actually happening right now inside of the auto market, you're going to see a really frightening future for used car prices. In fact, if you're thinking about buying a car, I think the biggest opportunity you'll see inside of your lifetime is going to be right in front of us. I'm going to break this down. I'm going to show you the facts. I'm going to show you exactly how much these cars are dropping by. I mean, it's unbelievable and what you should do about it. Please hit the like button, hit the like button. YouTube will share this content to educate the people about what's going on in America's economy. And if it can fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Tuesday. Take a look at this. So, I mean, 2009, we're here. This is for Give Car Back. And now you look at where we're at right now. Welcome to the holiday months. And now we're going to start getting lift off again. Now look at this. 15 million cars were sold at the height of the market at record high prices. People spending 10, 20, 30% over MSRP. On top of that, the average loan to value on a used car was 125%, meaning they'll step in, they'll sign on the dotted line, no down payment, they'll roll taxes, tags, dealer fees, everything into the loan. And so they're already significantly underwater before they even drive off the lot. And now when you see this tsunami in front of us, 100 million Americans right now are sitting inside of an auto loan. And used car prices, look at this, U.S. car owners drowning in debt, underwater crisis deepens, delinquency rates rise. December 18th, now follow this trend. Three days ago, used car prices fall to pre-levels, look at that. So you think about this, it, it just shows you how fast that this, this car market's moving. Used car prices dropped faster than expected, now 21% below peak. Now imagine you bought a car for 40 grand and you rolled taxes, dealer fees, everything into that loan. And maybe you walked out with a $47,000 loan. And now that $47,000 loan is being held by a car that's worth 30 grand. What are you going to do with that? Right? Many people are going to go out front of their home or their apartment, look at that car and say, you know what, why am I going to pay on a $47,000 loan on a car that's worth $30,000? Why am I going to do it? I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to give the keys back. And that's what you're seeing this big movement happening right now. People are looking at that car saying, you know what, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it. And it's going to continue to get worse. Cox Automotive, Mannheim Index, used vehicle values fall further in 2023 with values now down 21% from all-time highs. 21% just came out. Now, I mean, just in January, it fell 1.6%, just for the month of January. Underwater car loans signal U.S. consumers are slammed with high rates, but what the car manufacturers are planning to do, it's gonna rock, it's going to rock the entire auto industry, car dealers, I mean, auto lenders. This is gonna be taking everybody by storm. So take a look at this. So. It's shocking. If you look at the auto loan delinquency rates, going all the way back to 1996, it was 5.96%. 5.96%. Then, fast forward to now, this is October, it was a 6%. Then it registers to December, but the shocking aspect of this is that student loans are due for 40 million borrowers in America, and 40% of which did not pay on that, on that date. And so what does this mean? A lot of people did. And the other people that did, the 60% of people that did, it puts them even in a worse bind. So what is this going to equate to? More delinquencies. More people are going to continue to default on other debts and other obligations. And that's what we're walking into. We're, we're going to see this chart explode the next 90 days. Absolutely explode the next 90 days. Repossessions on the rise after pandemic low. January 31st. New data is showing a number of car repossessions is hitting the highest rate in years. According to Fitch ratings, more Americans are falling behind on their car payments after a sharp decline in the midst of the pandemic when a surge in used car prices and low interest rates on new cars had buyers taking out bigger loans. In May 2021, the number of subprime borrowers at least 60 days behind on their car payment hit a seven-year low of 2.58%. 
That's at the height. That was record low interest rates, so much money in the economy. People were making money everywhere. You needed almost no skill. Invest in stocks, didn't even know what the stock was, didn't matter, you were making money. Everything was exceptional. Now, with inflation, high gas, and job cuts in December 2022, that number more than doubled to a low of 5.67%. Cary bankruptcy attorney Travis Asser says he's seeing clients struggling with very high payments. I definitely think that this is a very significant increase in car prices has contributed to the problem where, you know, we're used to seeing payments for $500 a month would be common. Now it's not uncommon to see payments of $700, $800 a month. One in six Americans has a car loan north of $1,000 per month. It is a shocking bubble that we are in. And these, I mean, how many people can afford $1,000 a month? Seems like everybody can, but yet real wages are softening and the cost of living is rising. Energy prices, insurance, gas prices, everything is going through the roof. There's no way that this is going to be sustainable, especially when you see the strategic move made by Tesla and Ford and Honda and all these big deals right now to completely rug pull this. It's going to be nuts. Look at this. So remember auto leasing? It's rebounding in 2024, thanks in part to EV. Now, Tesla Model 3 and Y, you can lease them for $329 per month and $399 a month. When a used car right now you're probably looking at six seven hundred bucks a month on a new car the average payment is north of seven hundred and twenty nine dollars a month you know some people are spending close to eight hundred bucks a month so how many people are going to go out there in 2024 and want to buy a car and take on a seven eight hundred dollar payment how many how many people can actually qualify for that payment not as many as a couple years ago and so what are people going to start doing they're going to start opting in for leasing lease specials that's what's going to happen we have a lot of inventory coming back to these dealers over the last you know all those leases that came into effect the last couple of years are going to start rolling over this year or next year they're going to start issuing different incentives to try to offload this inventory so you're going to see a race to the bottom with used car prices and things are going to get really really interesting let's say for context you're thinking of buying a forty thousand dollar car today and the interest rate is 10%, which is actually a pretty good interest rate today. If you have a 780 credit score, 750 in that range, you're looking at 9.33%. Average credit score in America is 698. So it's more likely closer to 10% for most people. So on a 10% interest rate, $40,000 balance, even with a $10,000 down payment, which almost nobody's putting 10, 10 grand down. But let's say, for example, you're putting 2,500 bucks down, which again, the average person is putting zero. They're taking 125% loan to value. $800 a month. You're going to pay more than double to buy a car than to lease it. Not many people are going to opt in for that. I'm telling you, not many people are going to be able to opt in for that. And uh, look at this. Car insurance rates soared 36% since 2020. Here's why. Gas prices are surging and they're saying it could cost them this, right? So when, you, when you're starting to see all these chain of events, it's massive, massive headwinds coming for the auto market in a, in a way in which we've never before seen. I mean, you're talking a 2008 type of housing crash coming to the auto industry. And I think this is going to probably equate to one of the biggest, biggest opportunities for people that are looking to buy a new car, looking to lease a new car coming this year. Because these lenders, these manufacturers of these vehicles, these dealers, they're all going to be desperate to move inventory. They're going to be desperate to move it. But the big question I ask myself is if you see a lot of people losing their car, how are they going to get to work? Well, sure, some might work from home. But once people lose their car, that's the first domino to fall. How do they pay rent? How do they pay health insurance? How do they pay credit card bills? How do they pay student loans? How do they pay anything, right? It gets a lot harder. It's going to get a lot harder. And it looks like these layoffs are really starting to skyrocket. eBay, Google, Cruise, Twilio, Meta, on track mass layoffs, tech companies, following 200% increase in nationwide layoffs. Like all of these companies are issuing layoffs. It's not just the tech industry. You're seeing small business bankruptcies surging nearly 40%. And this is a ripple effect that's going to be coming across the U.S. economy. And you just start connecting the dots here. You look at what's going on with real wages, the cost of living. You're seeing a big problem coming here for America, a real big problem for you know, Americans. But a really big opportunity for smart and savvy entrepreneurs that are looking at what is happening as what it is. A massive wealth transfer, a massive transfer of assets. There's going to be a lot of businesses created during the chaos, a lot of money made during the chaos, just like there was during the great financial crisis, 2008, 2009. There's a lot of money that was made, a lot of money that was lost, but a lot more that was made. And uh, that's what I think we're walking into right now. We're walking into the complete erosion of the middle class 
and there's going to be the have-nots and the have-yots. And there's going to be a couple of years, next couple of years, more important than ever to build wealth. What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think we're walking into a massive, massive rug pull on the auto market, a massive rug pull coming for millions of Americans? And when you look at these numbers, 15 million Americans, most likely almost all of them probably overpaid for cars between 2020 and 2021. 15 million Americans, you look at what's happening in the labor market, you just start connecting the dots, you're going to see millions of repossessions, millions, millions of voluntary repossessions all right in front of us. Drop below, let's have a conversation about this. And if you are thinking about buying a used car, big opportunities coming, you're thinking about starting a business, you know, based on what's happening in the economy, maybe you have a business you're thinking about scaling up, make sure you have great credit if you're thinking about getting funding, or if you're thinking about investing in distressed real estate, you're gonna need great credit to get funding. So if you have any late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any issue at all in your credit report, book a free strategy session below at greatcreditfast.com for Tuesday, and I'll catch you next video.